Hello and welcome. Today I'm so excited to be sharing with you what fits inside the Louis Vuitton Mini Pochette. The Mini Pochette is an absolutely wonderful small leather good from Louis Vuitton. It currently retails for 950 Canadian dollars, but when I purchased mine, it was only 580 and that wasn't so long ago. Now, I actually have two Mini Pochettes. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what I keep inside the Mini Pochette that I'm using every single day, which is this one. And then I'll be using my other Mini Pochette to showcase to you um, different ways that you could use it. Now, in this video, I think I had originally said that there were 10 different ways. I'm not sure what that number worked out to, but I'm showing you two different ways that you could style or use the mini pochette and countless different um, combinations of objects that you can keep inside to make this a useful part of your everyday life. So without any further ado, let's get into it. The mini pochette is five and a half inches long, three and a half inches tall, and 0 0.8 inches wide. It is a natural cowhide leather trim with a textile lining and gold colored hardware. The chain has a hook and the pouch has a zip closure. The chain is not removable and has a chain drop of 5.9 inches. Both of the pieces I'm showing today are coated canvas, one in monogram and one in damier azure. This pochette is also available in damier ebin. The full name of this product is the mini pochette accessoire. More commonly known as the mini pochette, this product is also available in emprunt and vernis leather. The emprunt leather piece retails for 1,120 Canadian dollars. The vernis piece retails for 1,030 Canadian dollars. The Louis Vuitton website notes that the mini pochette is a stylish way to carry essentials. Its secure zip protects a spacious compartment, while the chain and hook enable it to be attached to a larger bag as well as carried in the hand. The round shape and supple canvas give this pouch a particularly pleasant feel. I will note that it is always a joy to hold my mini pochette, and I couldn't agree more that it has a very pleasant feel. Well, I'm not sure if it's worth it at 950 Canadian dollars. I do want to show you what fits inside. I'm going to leave links down below for some pre-loved ones, so hopefully you're able to find a bit of a deal there. And maybe you already have a mini pochette and you're sort of brainstorming, how can I use it better? The number one way that I use my mini pochette is as a mini handbag. Now that might not be exactly what you think it means, so let me explain. For me, using my mini pochette as a mini handbag means I keep it inside of my work tote. It has all of my essentials, so that way I can leave my tote bag that's heavier and larger and a bit of a burden to carry sometimes. I can leave that at my desk and I can go down and grab a cup of tea at Starbucks, grab myself some lunch, or maybe pop into some of the stores nearby. So for me, the mini handbag, it means two things. First, I hope you can see how I'm holding it. But with this little strap, I can easily just carry it with my hands like this. I can put it over my wrist and I can hold it sort of, sort of like a clutch. So I'm able to easily hold the bag and it doesn't look awkward carrying it around walking on the streets of Toronto but it also keeps me organized inside my purse. So let me show you what I keep inside my mini pochette. First, I keep my key pouch. And my key pouch is what I'm using lately as a wallet. Now, I'm not gonna show you all the cards, but as you can see, there's a number of cards in there and a little bit of spare change. So this has my credit cards, my debit card, my driver's license, all of those essential cards. So we're gonna leave that up there. Then, separate because I hate fumbling, I have my Presto card. So that's what I use to, I'm just gonna straighten that up. That's what I use to get on transit in Toronto. I like to have two hair elastics because one, what if I lose one? And two, sometimes a colleague needs one. And by two elastics, I really, <laughs> I really mean three. This part is not really prepped for the video because I just wanna show you exactly what I keep inside. Then I have my Dior Lip Glow. This is in the shade Rosewood. I like this because it matches pretty much every you know, makeup look I'd wear to work. I have a mini fragrance. This is the Hibiscus Scent from Nest. So a very small one. This was a 100 point perk at Sephora. For some reason, I have two lip liners, although really you only need one given that these are both Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. This is essential. This is my tag for how I get into the office. And then I have just a pair of earrings, and I can't really tell you why they ended up in there, but they did. And so that is what I keep in my, I'll show you. And then this is just a receipt from a previous Louis Vuitton, or not a receipt, but a little tracking piece. So I like to keep that in there. And so that is what I keep in my mini pochette every single day. 
And as you can see, it all fits in really quite nicely. I like to keep the pressed on the side so that way I can just tap the mini pochette against um, the machine. Now, as you can see, everything fits in nicely. There is more room if I wanted more lip products or, you know, other smaller, smaller type things. But I don't like to overstuff my designer goods. And so that is what I keep in my mini pochette every single day. So with that out of the way, let me show you some other ways that you can use your mini pochette. Now beyond using it as a mini bag, you can actually adjust the chain and wear it as a wristlet. This of course would have potentially the same contents, but instead of carrying it like a handbag, you might like to carry it like this as more of a wristlet. Personally, I always use it with a handbag option because I think when you're not wearing it, it gives it just a little, a little touch of something special. Because it's just, just a little, if it stays on for me, just a little accessory. The next option I'm going to show you is as your travel essentials. So ready to hop on the plane, we have first and foremost, of course, the passport. And as you can see, I have done some traveling recently. Then we have our wallet, of course, because nothing is free when you are at the airport. I have a hand sanitizer, a hand cream, and I guess I'll put it over here a lip oil. Now, the reason these three are so essential when I'm traveling is I get very, very dry. So I need the hand cream, I need something for my lips, and then just with the reality of the current situation, I think a little hand sanitizer is always a good thing. And as you can see, everything fits in very neatly. Now, if you're traveling with more than one passport, you might want to, you know, maybe skip on some of the bulkier items that I'm including. Now, the other reason I think it's so essential to have your travel essentials ready to go when you are traveling is if you have a larger personal item, which I like to do, I like to travel with a very large tote bag, sometimes it can be a little difficult to get to those core essentials. So if I keep this near the top of my tote bag or on the side or somewhere easy to access, then I know that I have the bare minimum for things I need to enjoy my flight and more importantly, get into whatever country I'm trying to go to. The next way to use the mini pochette might not be as polished, but it is very useful. And I like to call this the junk drawer. So in the junk drawer, again, we have some of those just everyday essentials between our lip oil, our hand sanitizer, and our hand cream. And then we've got just a pile of receipts. And depending on what your work life looks like, I know for myself, I'm often engaging in hospitality, taking, um, your work stakeholders, clients, etc., out to lunch. And this is the only way I get my money back from work. Now, I like to keep those all neatly within my purse so that way at the end of the month or the end of the week or what have you, I have all of my receipts together and I can file my expenses. And I would much rather my messy receipts be hiding in a cute little pouch than be all over the bottom of my purse. The next option I'm going to show you is what I lovingly call the Suburban Mom Car Starter Pack. Now, ever since I moved out to the suburbs, the way that I've used my mini pochette has changed. So here we have our key pouch, our key holder, an elastic, and a lip balm. Now, as mentioned, I do use my key pouch as my wallet, so I've got all my essential cards in there. And then I use my six ring key holder to keep my fob and my house keys. And then of course a hair tie and lip balm are essential. But if I'm out doing quick errands, the last thing that I want to do is carry around a big bulky bag. So sometimes I'll have a very small handbag with me, but especially if I'm just running in to grab a couple of things, I, I love being able to take just my mini pochette and carry it on my wrist like this or as a wristlet and just run into the store and get what I need. So I find it's very, very efficient and it's something I've only started doing now that I'm driving more and now that I live in the suburbs. I absolutely love Louis Vuitton, so if you haven't already, another reason to subscribe is soon I'm gonna be sharing with you my entire Louis Vuitton collection, both handbags and SLGs. Now, of course, I don't have any handy upstairs right now, but you could also use your mini pochette to carry feminine hygiene products. And if you're somebody who takes the pill or any other types of medication, this could also be a great place to keep it. Now, this next option might seem a little bit odd, but I think it's very helpful for parents on the go or those who struggle with low blood sugar. Have you ever considered your mini pochette as a snack pack? So in our snack pack, we have our AirPods because we like to keep a little messy purse. We have pen, 
because who wants to have your pen exploding in your bag? We have our tea, we have our Band-Aid, but we also have a full-size granola bar. Now, if you were packing more substantial snacks, you might want a bigger compartment or pouch in your bag, but just to have a granola bar if you get really hungry um, or if you need an emergency little food ration, you've got something in there, it fits, it's non-obtrusive, and look, just look how nicely it fits in there. No one will even know. Not that you should be ashamed for having a snack in your purse. I love having purse snacks. And in fact, I will be doing some what's in my bag so you can see all the purse snacks I like to bring with me. Another very classic way to use your mini pochette is of course as a makeup bag. Now when I'm designing my mini pochette as a makeup bag, I'm really looking for the core essentials that I would need to update my makeup if I was maybe staying late after work and going to dinner or you know, something something to that effect where, maybe I'll just put that standing upright. Something to that effect where I don't need to do a full face of makeup, but I do want to do a touch up. Let me know if you'd like a video on a Office Essentials makeup bag. I'd be happy to do a video on that, but this is really just for more on the go touch ups. I'm gonna show you my secret weapon. These are the secret weapon. So in this little makeup bag, you can fit so much more than I would think. So we have a pressed powder, especially if we wanna to touch up under our eyes. Of course, a brush. This is a mini brush, probably not a brush I would use day to day to do my powder, but definitely small and good enough to touch up at work. We have a small fragrance. Again, this is a mini. We have a lip gloss, two lipsticks, because of course we need two different neutral lipsticks to choose between, a matching lip liner, concealer, Mascara for touch-up, again, just a little a little travel size mini, and a couple of Q-tips. Q-tips can be such a great tool to update your makeup, especially when you are maybe at the office and you're touching up your makeup before an event. You know, especially if you end up getting some mascara or eyeliner sort of pooling in the, kind of in the tear duct of your eye. Um, it's gonna be a great way to just clean that up, maybe if there's any smudges on your mascara. Now again, we can definitely fit more in here, but my goal is not to overstuff. Especially if you're buying this today, you are spending nearly a thousand dollars on it. So we wanna keep it in a state of good repair. You might find a little bit more success putting longer items in first. There we go. I'm just going to zip it up. Now this option is probably not the most practical, but I wanted to give you a sense of what fits inside. So you can actually fit six standard size lipsticks. So we've got some Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, some of her standard size. Then we have one of her slightly larger lipsticks, that's from Hot Lips 2, the new Rare Beauty lipstick, and a lip liner. Now I did try to fit the Rare Beauty lip liner in, and it's just, it fits, but the minute you start adding other things, you're gonna be very tight on space, and even now you can see me struggling to get it out. And if you wanted to stuff it, you could probably fit more. But those fit quite comfortably. The next way that you could use your mini pochette is as just a little kind of emergency touch-up kit, but not as makeup focused. So a mini nail file can be a big help, especially if you are someone like me who is trying to grow out your nails and get a nice manicure, but, but it always seems like there's just one nail that wants to have a hangnail. A hand cream, small hand sanitizer, a little spritz of perfume, a normal size claw clip, some bandages, because I don't know about you, but work shoes can give me blisters. A lip balm and some Q-tips can be a really helpful little tool to have, as we've already discussed. And if you, like me, are somebody who much prefers tea to coffee, and in fact, I've actually never had a cup of coffee, I like to keep a little emergency tea bag individually wrapped in my handbag, so that way, if I want a cup of tea, I can have one. Personally, I much prefer green tea, so that is a type of tea I like to have with me. The next option I'm going to show you is as your tech essentials or office essentials bag. So as we open it up, we are going to find a couple of key items. A pen. Now, I always appreciate having a pen, whether it's in a business meeting, or again, this is another great option if you are traveling and flying. Sometimes you need to fill out forms on the plane and there's never enough pens to go around. 
Of course, we have our AirPods. And then we have one of the most important items of all, our phone charger, which of course looks much neater when it's in the mini pochette than when it is on camera here. But the phone charger is of course so essential. Um, you could also have perhaps a small portable charger. Of course, all of my portable chargers are the size of a brick and can charge my phone about five times. But if you had a smaller portable charger, this would be another great option as well. Now the iPhone 11 Pro with a case, and I do have a pop socket on the back, does not fit in the mini pochette. You can fit it like this, but you cannot fit it in. So let's take it out of the case. The iPhone 11 Pro does just barely, well it, it fits. The iPhone 11 Pro does fit in the mini pochette without a case, but it does not leave much room um, it leaves room on the sides, but it doesn't really come out easily. And personally, even though it does fit, um, I would not want to sacrifice a smaller or slimmer phone case because I drop my phone a lot. So perhaps with a slimmer phone case, the iPhone 11 Pro would fit comfortably, but as it stands with my case of case, it does not. And while I've lost count, I've shown you several different ways that you can use your mini pochette and what fits inside. This little bag fits a lot more than I ever thought it would, and I'm very excited about that. This bag is available in Monogram, Damier Azure, and Damier Aven. Now, as I mentioned, it is 950 Canadian dollars at time of filming, so I'm gonna leave some pre-loved ones linked down below. Hopefully we can find a bit of a better price on the used market. The mini pochette is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful little bag. And I've only grown more in love with it since I've started going back to the office. So as mentioned, the number one way that I use my mini pochette is as a mini handbag slash organizer. I keep this inside of my tote bag with all of the things I need that I absolutely need to be able to head out to lunch or coffee. Although as we've mentioned, I really only drink tea. Um, but everything that I need, so that way I don't need to lug my big tote bag around. It's also great because most importantly for me, I know that I can always easily access both my transit card and my work pass. Beyond that, I've sort of inspired myself by filming this video to keep my AirPods in here because those are something that I don't want to be without and the number of times I've left that in tote bags, I don't want to admit to. The other thing that's great about having a purse organizer um, inside of your tote bag is if you have a couple of different totes like I do, you know, I have a black one, I have a brown one, I have one that's a little bigger, I like to switch them up depending on my outfit. At least I know that anything else that I forget in my tote bag, I will live without just fine. You know, other than of course my computer and work papers, but we're assuming that I've remembered to put those in the tote bag already. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it fun and helpful, and I hope it's inspired you to think about different ways that you can use your mini pochette. Maybe if you're on the fence about the mini pochette, I hope this has given you useful information about what fits inside. So if you love luxury makeup and luxury handbags, and you just love the finer things in life, then definitely subscribe because here at Classy on the Run, I love showing you different ways to use your luxury goods. I love showing you what fits inside so that way you can make the most informed purchase. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna leave some videos around here for you to watch. One video I think you might really enjoy is 18 different ways to use your key pouch, where I show you the countless things that you can fit inside that tiny, tiny little pouch. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah!